it now thanks to our sponsors at transition projects we are learning about all the great work that they do in our community to help people experiencing homelessness transition successfully into housing and nicole DaCosta is out at safeway in beaverton with a few of our friends to learn more about the 23rd annual safeway truckload of coats nicole how's everything going with the drive It is so great. Yes, it's a big day, the truckload of coats. And you know what? I'm so happy that we can all be out here this morning. Cars are coming through. People are donating jackets, and that's what today is all about. And honestly, after that weather report, it is a little bit chilly out here. So we're very thankful to have a coat. We want everyone to have a coat this holiday season. So Roma, tell us about Transition Projects and all the work that you do. Well, good morning and mm -hmm. thanks for having us. Um, Transition Projects helps people experiencing homelessness mm -hmm. transition to permanent housing. Yes. We've been around 54 years, yes. just ending 54 years, and we're the largest provider of shelter services in Oregon and we have a very large uh, resource center. Yes. And then we help about 500 or more people get housed every year. It's truly tremendous. And today, especially with the cars coming and seeing all the excitement of these, these winter coats being donated, what types of items are we looking for? Start looking in your closets now. We can't wait to see you soon. Yeah, clean out the closets. Um, <laughs> it we, feels good. This is a life-saving event for us. So we are looking for warm coats, waterproof, anything and everything, yes. shoes and boots. Um, anything that you know is going to keep someone warm during the winter months, and it's already cold and rainy. Yes. So we, this kicks off for us that ability to help people who are either being, um, they're living out on the streets, yes. or they're in our shelter programs, or they're newly housed yes. and might need, uh, you know, a, a warm coat clean clothes, pants, especially man men's pants. Yes. We can always use more underwear. We never get enough underwear. Yes, we want to see your underwear today. Yeah. I've always wanted to say that on yeah. television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we really need the, the warm clothing that can last through the winter. Absolutely. And Chad, you know, tell us, you are a veteran. Veterans Day around the corner. Tell us how Transition Projects has helped you, just briefly. Transition Projects has helped me twice, actually. Um, I was homeless back in 15 when I moved out here trying to get into Portland State. Yes. Uh, I was the first voucher for Goose Hollow Towers. Yes. So I was the first SSVF that they took on into college housing. Yes. Um, I went on, got sober. Mm -hmm. They helped me do my program, and I actually ended up graduating from oh. Portland State in 2017. That's right. With the Bachelor's in Conflict Resolution. See, uh, huge congrats. I mean, this is what we're doing. We're helping people in the community. We're staying warm. Thank you for sharing your story today. Absolutely. We are out here at Safeway, right here by Sunset High School in Cornell, and we cannot wait to see you. There's a couple donation centers which Ashley mentioned, but, you know, tproject.org, that's the website. Check it out, and honestly, just come by and give us a nice honk. Give us some coats. We'll see you guys soon. Thank, thank you so you. much. Yes, huge thank you to our sponsors at Transition Projects. We love them over there.